Today, I want to talk to you about something that I really am passionate about. How do we craft strategy for businesses? It is the Action Coach Africa podcast hosted by Peter Skoltz. Don't forget to subscribe for more. And the first component of that process of strategy formulation comes back to me around defining your purpose, your passion, and your vision. And I recently read a book by the author of, by the name of Bill Hybels in the book titled Courageous Leadership, where he unpacks passion and vision. And he, and he defines vision as a picture of the future that produces passion. Two important components of this vision component that I want to talk about. Number one, it's called the picture. And number two is the emotion and the passion. And so when you start looking at what your purpose is and what your vision is for life for yourself and whatever you decide to choose to, to give your life to, the first thing you've got to work out for yourself is what is that picture? What is that issue? What is that societal issue that elicits an emotion for you, but do you get a vision or a picture of what the future would look like? And so for a lot of people, they get passionate about working with homeless people to provide them with homes and they can see this vision of what it looks like when they've eventually arrived at a place that they've prov provided homes for homeless people. For a lot of people it might be kids that are destitute without parents and they can see that picture, visualize it about what it looks like when they've provided kids with a shelter that do not have, have, uh, have, uh, have, have parents. For a number of people it's a, it's a vision around what we often talk about in our business around reaching the unemployed and what do we what can we do in this country of ours around creating employment and so wh what is that picture that you've got elicited first and foremost when you start understanding your purpose as we start thinking around those things that we address every single day and understanding what that that picture is for some people that arrives at a, at, at a flash like this for other people, it takes years of muddled thoughts and ideas and scrambled ideas until one day it arrives to you like a blinding flash of the obvious say, this is what I'm about. This is what I'm prepared to give my life to for the rest of my life, etc. And the vision then becomes very clear. The picture of what your vision becomes very clear. So once you've got that clarity, that's the first point. The second point that you've got to understand when you start understanding your vision or your purpose is what is the passion that that picture elicits for you? And if that doesn't get your, your heartbeat ra raising or your excitement levels raising, then there's still something missing in this component about understanding your purpose and, purpose and your vision in life. And so the moment the, passion, the, the picture is clear for you, the next component of deciding what your purpose is, what does that do to my level of emotion? How does that raise my heartbeat? How does that raise my energy levels for me to go get out there and dedicate my life to to make that issue become a reality. So very simply put, as I wrap this up for us today, is vision is a picture of the future that produces passion. And every single one of us have been placed on this earth to just understand what our purpose is and understand that we've been placed here to elicit, identify, and work towards some form of a vision of the future where I contribute to the success of the society within which I work. When I was working with somebody uh, a couple of years ago around understanding the purpose and the vision and the passion, I was driving to the meeting in the morning. I was saying to myself, you know, how do I help this individual, this, this business owner, unlock what their purpose and their passion is in life? And I was driving down a particular freeway in, 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 in Gauteng, etc., and around on the outsides of the freeway, they were doing construction work. And as I looked down the side of the construction road, the construction area of the, of the business, was absolute litter. And I got so angry. And I was so angry about this wanton destruction of just litter lying on the road. And so for me, it got me to realize that there's something that elicited an emotion in me. Sometimes that emotion is a negative emotion, sometimes a positive emotion. But when you start unpacking that example, I said, hang on, if I'm so angry about the litter that is created in South Africa, what is it about that that might decide for me to, to use that as my purpose? And you then get into Sharon Lechter's book, and she speaks about the formula for success is, in brackets, passion times talent, close brackets, plus A, plus A, plus A, plus associations, plus affirmations, plus action is the formula for success. So when you start looking and say to yourself, what are those things that you're passionate about? Put it in a piece of white, pa white, pa white page, divide the page by two and A4 page. 
List of things that you're passionate about. Some of those things might be negative passions. Some of them will be positive passions. List them. On the right-hand side of the page, write down what do, you, what do you believe your talents and your skills are. And so it's interesting when people start doing that as an exercise that, you know, you can see that's all warped or whatever. And I say to them, well, take that piece of paper and go and share it with your wife, your spouse, or whatever, your best mate, and ask them to write down what they think you're passionate about, what they think your skill set is, or whatever. And you, then you start matching it. All of a sudden, you start drawing the lines between what you're passionate about, what your talent is, and you start matching the two. And when you get to common themes across those two areas, then you start asking yourself, so hang on, where are my associations? Where's my network that I can link into, tap into, to start driving me towards making that difference? Secondly, talks to that concept about I am who I am and I've been placed in this earth and what we, what we refer to as, as, as daily affirmations. And so you've got to start thinking about yourself in that future sense around who I am. And we talk about it in, in Action Coach around daily affirmations. You know, I am successful and all those sort of things. But we've also got to recognize where our, sense, our source of strength and power comes from when you write affirmations down. Because if it's all self-centered, the foundation of that is wrong. And then last, he said, right, if I now know what my passion and my talents are, if I know where my associations are, who I can connect with in society that can help me along this path, and I understand what my value proposition is in, 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 on having been placed on this earth, now start taking action. Every single day, every single week, towards that level of success for yourself. So for today, I just want to leave that with you today. And next week, we will go through the next part of the strategy formulation process. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope you've found value in this episode today. If you are considering leaving corporate or you're considering getting to the business coaching industry and work or keen to join our community of highly experienced coaches, then I would like to encourage you to go to our website at actioncoach.africa and make sure that you hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.